Hi, welcome to the White Room. So, what are we doing in a White Room session? Well, really what I'm going to look at today is putting together for any business the processes that make the business run smoothly. And this is true for any size of business and it's important to put them in as soon as possible. So in a White Room session, what we really do is start with a fairly blank template and start working on what typical systems uh, businesses use and how these would apply to the particular business we're talking about. So for example, most businesses would work on a principle like this. We would start off by having processes that identify the right leads. Uh, notes there, what we say is the right lead. So you may have all kinds of contacts coming in from all sorts of sources, from your social media, from your website, personal contact, from expos, from networking groups, and all these, we need a way of collecting uh, the information or collecting their contact details. So these move through a process where we collect their email, their name, maybe other information about them, but also identify those that are the ideal client. Uh, the prospect really rather than just a lead. So people who uh, would fit into your ideal client um, would be more likely to buy. So once we've done that, they move across to our next process. And the next process is nurture. Where, although we've identified and filtered out uh, some of these leads, not every lead is created equal. There may be some that are ready to buy, and we'll go on to the next process uh, directly. There may be some that may take a little bit of convincing, may need some education, and these would be a short-term nurture. And there may be some that take a considerable amount of time to come to that uh, purchasing decision, um, and would be a long-term nurture that would go into a long-term nurture process. The key here really is to avoid any waste. Uh, if we focus just on those that come straight through, buy immediately, that's great of course, but you are missing out on those that may need just a couple of messages or a couple of contacts, and certainly you're missing out on those that take a longer time uh, to get to that purchasing decision. And really what we're doing during the nurture process, we're educating, we're also building trust we get into the stage where they can trust you enough to make a purchasing decision. And also, uh, what we need to build into this is that it's a personalised approach. That is, that depending on their responses to your messages, if they're opening a lot of messages, at what stage do you uh, phone to book a meeting with them, or um, phone call or invite them along to an event or anything like that, uh, you can identify then who are your hottest prospects and then bring them into this next stage uh, as quickly as possible. The next stage is uh, conversion. Uh, the conversion into an actual client. And as we say, this has really been to do with educating, building trust, and getting to them to understand that they need your uh, product or service. And we want this conversion process to be as straightforward as possible. There's a few steps in it and certainly from the uh, client's point of view we want it to look like you know the Amazon one-click purchase that easy for them to to pay you. Um, if there are things such as uh, proposals or quotes um, how do we build in the processes that uh, get those out quickly and um, follow up on them. So that should be a, a short and as easy as possible, uh, both from your perspective and from the client. Then we move on to put two processes together, or two stages together here, the onboarding um, and implementing. Now, These are the areas that a lot of businesses tend to forget. We focus on this part, but when actually they've made that decision, they've made a payment, or signed up for a payment plan or whatever, or they've accepted a proposal, what's your next step? A welcome email, uh, the buyer remorse letter, 
the, the one that says, you know, you've made the right decision, uh, etc. Um, this is particularly important if you then may have a long lead time so that uh, they make the decision and they're not going to get delivery for a little while. How do you keep in touch with them? What messages do we send out? And um, this really sets the tone for your relationship with this client. Uh, how much you build trust, further trust here, uh, may impact on how long they stay with you, uh, how much more they may spend with you. And this is your first opportunity really to start thinking about upselling and cross-selling, uh, offering them other services, premium services, alternative uh, products, etc. So our next stage, once we've gone, uh, although it's already started, is retention. What are the processes that you have in place to ensure clients stay with you? Now, if you ever calculate your client lifetime value, you'll see how valuable or how much each client is worth. And for every month, year, uh, or how, how the length of time they're with you, how much more valuable they become. So really putting in place processes that make sure that they're seen as valued clients and that they're seen um, as important to you within the business, the longer they'll stay with you. So you're providing them with a service, but also you're keeping them front of mind. Um, very often when you look at surveys about how, um, what, why people leave businesses or stop doing business with someone, it's because there's no particular reason may feel that they're being ignored, nothing else. So this is an important part, and again, processes in here that make sure um, that you retain clients for as, much, as long as possible. Within this process also, it's worth thinking about a customer reactivation strategy. Uh, any customers that have stopped doing business with you or stopped um, working with you for whatever reason, what are you doing to bring them back into this nurture process, let's say? slightly adapted from this. How do you bring them back into the fold? And here also, you can be collecting feedback. Again, it makes people feel valued is one, you collect feedback, and two, you act upon it. So even if somebody's left you, you can say, well, your feedback is valuable. Uh, so that's one example of how you can look at retention there. Then, again, runs alongside, really, and it's a crucial one. Um, what we'd call leverage, leveraging um, the current client list. So what process do you have in place for collecting um, feedback, for collecting case studies? How do we get more money or more revenue from our current clients, upsells, cross-sells, but also then bring in new clients to your referrals, etc., uh, joint ventures? So understanding our lifetime value, but understanding then also how much more each client can be worth to you if they're actively uh, bringing in more clients for you. So that's it. We will plot out and think about in your particular circumstance um, processes in each of these general areas and how do we put those into place and how do we more importantly automate them uh, so that they take less time and they are consistent. So from your um, client's perspective, there is a consistent experience, but also personalized so that depending on their responses, they get a different, um, they get a different experience or get different messages. So why is this so important? Well, there are four main points. Number one is, once these are put into place, they save you a lot of time and a lot of stress. Secondly, you don't waste opportunities. So we don't waste leads, uh, we don't waste prospects here, uh, we don't waste the, um, the potential you have in your current client list. And from the client perspective, of course, as we said, it gives them um, a consistent but personalized experience. They understand they're working with a professional outfit. And then the fourth point is with processes in place, your business can run without you. And that means it becomes an asset, something you can delegate, something you can sell. Um, it's then a valuable 
asset because it runs even when you're uh, present. So if you want to work on this with your business, want to find out more, just click on the links around this video. Look forward to hearing from you.